the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. My dear friends in Christ, we come together this day giving glory and praise to our God. And today we celebrate the memorial of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Friends, as we prepare to come forth to the table of our Lord to meet Christ Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, we first take a moment of pause. Let us acknowledge our sins, and so better prepare ourselves to more fully celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us. Christ, have mercy. You will come in glory with salvation for all your people. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring all of us to everlasting life. And let us pray. May the venerable intercession of the glorious Virgin Mary come to our aid, we pray, O Lord, so that, fortified by her protection, we may reach the mountain which is Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Sing and rejoice, O daughter Zion. See, I am coming to dwell among you, says the Lord. Many nations shall join themselves to the Lord on that day, and they shall be his people, and he will dwell among you. And you shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. The Lord will possess Judah as his portion in the Holy Land, and he will again choose Jerusalem. Silence all in the presence of the Lord, for he stirs forth from his holy dwelling. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. While Jesus was speaking to the crowds, his mother and his brothers appeared outside, wishing to speak to him. Someone told him, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside asking to speak with you. But he said in reply to the one who told him, Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? And stretching out his hands toward his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my heavenly Father is my brother, my sister, my mother. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. Lord Jesus Christ. Today we honor our Blessed Mother under the patronage of Our Lady of Mount Carmel, the patroness of the Carmelite order of sisters, brothers, and priests. And friends, we honor Mary, but part of me says she probably wouldn't like that necessarily. Because if we look at the life of Mary, we look at the Magnificat, which was our responsorial psalm today. It's not about Mary. 
Mary's life, Mary's existence, Mary's words always point toward Jesus, always point toward the Son of God, always point toward God the Father. What a beautiful way to live life. What a wonderful example each and every one of us has. If we're looking for that model of humility to help us defeat the vice of pride, look no further than our Blessed Mother. Pray that prayer. Pray that Magnificat, that Magnificat that doesn't focus inward, but focuses outward, and more importantly, focuses upward. Where does our focus lie? So often in our world obsessed with technology and social media, we sometimes put the focus on ourselves. How do we change that? How do we change that pattern of thought, of thinking of oneself first? How do we change those behaviors of doing unto others what, you know, we want done and not really caring about any of the effects of our selfishness, we trust in our Blessed Mother. We trust in her words that our soul may magnify not ourselves, but our soul may magnify the Lord, that we might have faith in that God who has cast the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly, the one who fills the hungry with good things. Friends, Thank God for the example of our Blessed Mother. And thank God for those little moments in our lives when we're able to put things into perspective, when we're able to shift the focus from the person we see in the mirror to the one whose embrace we've known for all time. And so with confidence that our loving God always hears us, we present our needs and the needs of the St. Paul family before God's holy altar. For the church, for the people of God, for all who follow the Christ, that will be strengthened and renewed in our faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who lead and hold power in government, society, throughout the world, that they'll hold to the common good, remembering each and every life that has been entrusted to their care. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick and suffering that they know of God's healing presence today, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of our beloved dead, especially those who we now recall in the silence of our hearts. May they see the face of our loving God this day and live forever with all the saints in light. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving and merciful Father, we know that you always hear us. Lord, help us to be attentive to the needs of others. Help us to always focus our attention not on ourselves, but on what truly matters. And help us to grow in our love of you expressed through our love of neighbor. We ask these and all of our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And so through the mystery of this water and wine, we become a share of the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And so with humble spirit and contrite heart, may we accept by you, O Lord, may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sins. And pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. 
Receive, O Lord, we ask, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of blessed Mary, the mother of your son, no petition may go unanswered and no request be made in vain. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on this feast day of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of her virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ the Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise, as together we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, with Robert, our bishop, with all the clergy, with the entire people you've gained for your own. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who've died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And so, friends, at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all anxiety, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. On behalf of all of us who call St. Paul's our home, may peace be with you and your household this day and always. May the mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to all who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for me protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring all of us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we, who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary, may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you now and always, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Amen.